Johnny Davis, star, uh, American Little League baseball player, asked Bloomberg University to reinstate collegiate player Joey Castleberry, who was dismissed from his team for his derogatory tweet where he called Monet a slut after learning that Disney plans to make a movie based on her life. Monet made the request during an appearance on SportsCenter, which she said, everyone makes mistakes and everyone deserves a second chance. I know he didn't mean it in that type of way and I know a lot of people get tired of just seeing me on TV, but sometimes you've got to think about what you're doing before you actually do it. I know right now he's really hurt and I know how hard he worked just to get where he is now. Meanwhile, appearing with various black clergy and Oklahoma State Senator Anastasia Pittman by his side at Fairview Baptist Church, former SAE frat member Levi Petit apologized for participating in the racist chant alluding to lynching caught in that uh, in the now infamous 10 second clip weeks ago. Washington Post writer Jonathan Capehart suggested in a op-ed that Petit's apology should be accepted because he was the only one of the frat members who came out and apologized publicly. Yeah, no. I disagree with Capehart's suggestion not because I'm psychic and know in my heart of hearts that Levi is only apologizing because he was caught and expelled. We can only uh, make assumptions and uh, suspect his intentions. I, I disagree with Kate Part's suggestion because it's something that we as black people have always been expected to do to give our forgiveness away freely and expeditiously without hesitation or that forgiveness actually being genuinely earned. More on that a bit later though. In regards to Monet, I know on the outside her actions look like another case of black people turning the other cheek in the face of ignorance and hate and that we should all hold hands and sing kumbaya. Um, to this example of, you know, post-racial forgiveness and made especially significant to, you know, people by, because of her, her age. But l let's hold off on the singing and the hand holding for just a second. Monet's a bit too young, in my opinion, to fully understand the historical significance of her apology. And, um, in my personal opinion, opinion, it kind of feels like this was a PR thing that was put on her shoulders, which, if that really is the case, it's absolutely unacceptable. That's not to say that young younger people, you know, tweens and teens, that's not to say that kids can't understand uh, the historical significance of turning the other cheek. I just don't think either she or her parents or the PR people she may have uh, even know consciously what they're doing and what we have we as black people have been conditioned to do for so long let's not also forget that um, black girls and women are hardly ever seen as victims or innocent thanks to white supremacy so there never really has been any real consequences for uh, those who disrespect us, whether verbally or physically. So if this was a PR idea in Monet's case, I find it disgusting and disheartening to see how early the burden of racial forgiveness, you know, being the bigger, better person of color in the face of oppression, uh, hate and suffering, is, is taught to black people. This along with respectability and uh, black pathology are it's a poisoning rhetoric that we as a group, that we as a people, really need to let go of. It is not a duty or a responsibility for us to absolve those who hurt us or disrespect us of all responsibility and accountability. And that is too much to continue to put on ourselves and especially our children. Not to mention, all it really does is maintain the status quo. Um, 
what will Castleberry what will uh, Castleberry really learn from this? Does does anyone really think that he'll see the error of his racially bigoted ways and decolonize his mind and the way that he views black girls or even you know black people? So <clears throat> let's stop doing this to ourselves and to our kids. Let's let our kids be kids. And let's not give away our forgiveness so easily without those who hurt us, disenfranchise us, and disrespect us from having to truly earn it.